Microsoft brought us all the way to China to check out their new Surface Pro. Not the Surface Pro 5, just the Surface Pro, which is totally different from the Surface Pro that was released in 2013, and also totally different from the Surface Pro 4. This is the new Surface Pro. Linus said after not exactly being too enthusiastic with Surface Pro 1 through 3, that version 4 was where he thought the concept finally lined up with Microsoft's vision. So now it's time to see how far they take it from there. We're hosting LTX 2017 on July 29th. 2017. It's a meetup, tech, carnival thing, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Learn more at the link in the video description. First, let's start with specs. Under the hood, you can pick your processor. You can go from an Intel M3 to a Core i5 to even a Core i7. For RAM, you can range yourself from four gigs to 16 gigs. And for storage, you can go with solid state drives from 128 gigs to one terabyte, with the one terabyte option being in the NVMe ultra fast variety. But depending on your flavor of choice, you'll be shelling out anywhere from 800 US dollars to 2,700. You're paying for that performance in NVMe drive. I would say that my sweet spot would probably be the Core i5 with eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD, but if you do want those Iris Pro graphics for doing more graphical stuff or even some minor gaming, you might want to upgrade. That being said, the M3 and i5 models don't have a fan. They're all cooled so well that they are fanless operation, which is pretty sweet if you want a silent computer. They claimed at the event that the performance of the laptop went up by 20% over its previous version. That seems a little intense considering the processor upgrade that they had, so we'll have to investigate this claim more back at the office. But one thing that they did state that was super cool is that there's 4.5 hours more battery life over top of the Surface Pro 4, which brings you to 13.5 five hours of video playback battery. It's also rocking a beautiful 12.3 inch pixel sense display with an aspect ratio of three by two and a pixel per inch count of 267. It looks awesome and that's pretty much all I have to say there. The pen has also received welcome improvements going from 1024 degrees of pressure sensitivity in the old version way up to 4096 on the new one. The actuation force needed to make a line has moved down from 21 grams to just 10 grams. It supports tilt for shading, which is super cool. And it is apparently the fastest digital pen on the planet with only 21 milliseconds of latency. But it, along with the keyboard, are not included in the box. The Surface Pen, a rather iconic part of the Surface Pro laptop, is now sold separately. If you have the previous version of the pen, it is forwards compatible and the new pen is also backwards compatible if you don't want to buy a whole new laptop but do want a better pen. Uh, which is cool, but that's going to add a lot of cost if you want a pen and a keyboard with your, well, laptop. And to continue the not-so-great news, we've got the I.O. On the left-hand side, you've got a headset jack. On the bottom, you have the cover port. On the right-hand side, you've got a mini display port, a Surface Connect port, and a full-size USB 3 port, along with a micro SD port on the bottom. The lack of Thunderbolt 3, or if I dare say, USB-C, feels a little dated at this point. And considering Linus already criticized the Surface Pro 4 for lacking these things, along with just not having a full-size SD slot, it just feels kind of weird that the I.O. was entirely overlooked with this revision. If you're unsatisfied with those I.O. options, you can use the dock, but as you may have guessed, it is sold separately as well. And last, but possibly not least, depending on your use case, they have decided to include LTE capability, which is pretty damn cool if you really want to embrace the whole portability of your device with those 13.5 hours of video playback battery life. In conclusion, two or so months ago, Linus looked at the Surface Pro 4 and deemed it, at the very least, worthy of consideration depending on your use case. Now it's received an upgrade and its pricing structure seems to have stayed pretty much the same, which makes it an even better option. It feels great in your hand, the build quality seems rather wonderful as long as you never ever have to take it apart. But I do really, really wish they took another look at their IO and modernized it a little bit. 
As it stands, the Surface Pro is a very interesting laptop, but it kind of feels like a game that really needs its DLC to be fully featured and fully complete. You don't have the keyboard with it. If you're buying this, you probably want it for some type of design work and it doesn't come with the pen. If you're buying this, you might need to plug more than, you know, kind of one thing into it at a time. So you might need the dock. You're gonna end up walking out of the store with quite a few things. Hmm. Maybe our wishes will come through for the next version of the Surface Pro, which I'm gonna guess is gonna be called the newer Surface Pro, or maybe the Surface Pro 2019. Or, well, it is Microsoft, so maybe they'll just skip a few numbers and it will be the Surface Pro 10. Do you like people spying on you while you use the internet? If you said yes, shut up, I'm on to you. With TunnelBear, nobody can spy on you. It keeps your internet activity private from your internet provider, advertises, and anyone looking to track you or profit from your data. TunnelBear has a top-rated privacy policy and does not log your activities, and the best part is it's actually easy to use. You download it, it's available for PC, Mac, Android, iOS, they even have a Chrome extension, and you press like one button and you are covered. And it's uh, really nice for getting around pesky geo restrictions, you know, watching videos that are US only. Yeah, it's really great for that. So try it out for free with 500 megabytes of data, no credit card required. And then when you sign up for a year of unlimited data, save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com LTT. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Get subscribed either way so you can see all the rest of our videos forever. If you want to hit the bell, you can like definitely always, always see all of our videos, which is a pretty solid way to go. If you want to check out the description, there's an Amazon link where you can buy stuff you saw in this video. Uh, there's also a link to where you can buy some shirts. And just click this video, which is Pella's favorite video that he's ever seen on our channel. Like, without a doubt. It is the singular favorite video of his. He feels pretty passionately about this video.